Hi, I'm Sean, this is Holly, and we're currently going on a trip from Dubrovnik to Mosar. We're going to take a bus later today, it's currently about 2 o'clock right now, and we're still hanging around the hostel. And it's quite nice of them because they've let us chill out in the hostel while we wait for our bus, which isn't until 4pm today. If you've seen us on any of our other trips where we've gone from all the way from Bulgaria all the way to here, which is obviously Dubrovnik, and um, we've had some interesting bus journeys. We hope it's a really boring video for you, but it never is. There's always something that goes on when we go travelling. Isn't that right, Holly? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> kind of didn't, last video, didn't really show you this sort of area of the hostel, I'll just show you my room. So this is the, what's this hostel called? Angie Guest House. It's, it's right on the uh, port bus station of Dubrovnik. And as uh, you say, this is one of two kitchens we've seen. Uh, we were in a place just outside here. And we had a se separate little building. That was our double little garden rooms, which is quite cool. Um, and we could come up here and cook, but we had a fridge down there, double bed and whatnot. It's quite a nice hostel. People here are all friendly, chatting. We're just relaxing now. Right, so anyway, before I carry on waffling on, we'll see you on the bus. Fingers crossed that everything goes well. Right, so uh, tell me, just to quickly update you, there's music playing really loudly, so hopefully that doesn't get picked up. But um, what's happening now is our coach is running about 15 minutes late at the moment, uh, so far, and no sign of it. Also, the second thing is, we've got to be checked into our place by 8 o'clock, so that's good because we're already meant to arrive at court bar 7, so this is going to be fun. You literally spoke to him in the hostel earlier when you spoke about mm. you consciousness. Uh, so this is the second border control out on free today. This is fun. Didn't know that we were going to have to cross so many borders, but there we are. Anyway, I'm going to get back on the bus. So we've made it finally. Um, let me just tell you about this in a second. Let me just get my bearings. So this is the day later. We, we couldn't even bear to talk about the trip yesterday. So we've had a day off to talk about it. Um, now I'm gonna pass you over to Holly so she can just tell you all the thing about the trip. <laughs> so it's yesterday, you're asking yeah. me to recall something that... Yeah. We've done about 40 border crossings is what it felt like. Yeah. So we started the trip, uh, the bus... And just we're, we're like, right, okay, our original plan was to go from um, Dubrovnik to Split. And we're like, well, we're, we're going through the border, Bosnia. So we may as well go up to uh, Mostar. Hmm. Thinking, oh, we'll only cross one border because there's a little bit of Bosnia and Herzegovina in between the two Croatias. Oh no. <laughs> so you cross out of Croatia. Yeah. You're technically in Bosnia. Yeah. But you're not stamped in. No. You or drive. Checked. They're not checked at all in. You checked out, but not in. Yeah. yeah. You drive through Bosnia and Herzegovina, yeah. and then you drive back into Croatia, Which get is... stamped back in, <laughs> and then we drove for another, what, 40 minutes? 40 minutes, and then left Croatia again. Stamped out of Croatia, and then... Stamped into, well no, like, that was like another 10 minute down the road, Yeah. again. That we get stamped into Bosnia. Four border stops. Though. So I've got three stamps that say, I, uh, sorry, four stamps. But I've got three stamps that say I was in Croatia on the 19th of <laughs> April. <laughs> Which is great. Um, another thing about the bus was it was late when we first got there. And I was like, hmm, do we plan to start a mini bus and getting all these people together? And to be fair, the people on the trip was really friendly. We, we spoke to... A couple a few of, of them, yeah. A couple of Americans, but there was one person in particular that Holly didn't like. Give us a little tell about the story of the person you didn't like. What well, the lady that refused to queue and then we'll literally run you over with a suitcase. Rammed her suitcase up my ankles, and when I told her to back off, <laughs> she started. She could speak English, fine, but she started swearing at me in her own language, and it was like, all right. And then we got on the. Um, Bus in front of her because we queued. <laughs> and you know where she chooses to sit? In front of us. And then she's trying to recline the chair, and obviously we're tall, so we're both bored. Well, I'm 
borderline six foot, Sean is over six foot, so his knees are in the back of the seat and she's trying to recline and she just can't get anywhere. So and I'm like, even if it was working, yeah. like yeah. you couldn't, there's no space. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was fun. Um, but it's because she sat on a seat that we'd already looked at because the chair in front of her was broken and permanently reclined. And we've learned through this, yeah. you check the seat yeah. before you sit down, both yours and the one in front of you. So a couple of other things I wanted to add um, about this trip is one, how we booked it. We booked it using Flip. Flex bus. Six bus. Yeah. Again, we spoke about this before. It's quite simple. Online. We had an issue before, and we thought it was flex bus that was a problem. Like not advertising. Like it's saying it was only a euro for luggage. It wasn't. It was Montenegro that was ripping us off. Yeah. Um, um, it was a euro for luggage. You have to pay an extra euro to put anything in the hold, which is fair which enough. Is it fine. does state it on yeah. your when you buy it on flex bus. It says it includes your hold, which they don't check the size or the weight or anything of, yeah. and then it's a euro for larger luggage but yeah. that's up until like a suitcase like this yeah. like it doesn't matter uh, what else was there so we booked it on flip bus um oh so again flip bus advertises wi-fi toilets it might do on their buses but when they use a secondary firm like we have on the last two it's it's not they don't have wi-fi or toilets so you just kind of when you want to go to the toilet you kind of have to hold it for like the whole trip so Beware when you do travel around Europe that there might not be any toilet stops and on this one there wasn't any toilet stops was there? No, but it was only meant to be three and a half hours. Yeah, so it was, how much, so we, so it arrived we, we half hour late. We didn't get on, we didn't leave until 40 minutes later than we were meant to. We were meant to leave at four, we didn't leave until 20 to five. And then we didn't get in, we were meant to get in at quarter past seven, we didn't get in until half past eight. So we're an hour. 15 minutes late. Yeah. And our Airbnb, as we said before, was like, oh, eight o'clock cut off. But luckily they were really nice and friendly. Yeah. We, we've, yeah. She was like, it's not your fault. Not our fault. And she, she was on WhatsApp and we messaged mashed her and stuff. So that's really good. Right, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you want to know how to travel Europe, there's plenty of videos of us traveling across borders across Europe, isn't there, mm -hmm. on the channel. Um, but, if you want to see what most star is like, um, then check out this video just down here somewhere, or I don't know. It'll be here in the next couple of days. So um, I'll see you again soon.